There's a video, you just have to hold it. All right, so this is how you, uh, so first of all, this disclaimer is I'm not an electrician, but this is a circuit breaker. So this is what I figured out so far. But that is the basic point, basic part. Electricity is coming in with these three wires from basically from uh, your uh, electrical company. This is carrying 120 and this is carrying 120. This is carrying ground. Yeah. This ground is going to the bar here. Yeah. This here is 110 going to this circuit breaker. Yeah. This other one's going, going to this to other circuit other breaker. Yeah. If you, and so these are called circuit breakers, but think of them as now as switches, meaning just on and off. So right now they're all facing one way towards each other, meaning everything's yeah. completely on. Yeah. If I flip this back, that means that the electricity here is not going to cross and it's not going to make it to ground. No. All right. So now, how also this is work is this piece of metal or this switch here or circuit breaker, let's call it a switch. This switch is powering this bar. And you notice that this bar feeds this one, it skips that one, it goes to this mm. one. And then this switch is powering this bar. If I take off the circuit breakers, you can see that this metal here travels into this one. So it's kind of like this behind yeah, there. Yeah. And just to tell you that this one is feeding this one, we call that number one. And so it's going to switch, it's going to alternate, and it's going to power the next yeah, number one. Number three. Number three, and it's going to uh, go to number five. five. This guy does all the evens. Two, four, six. Two, four, four and six. six. And now, to prove to you I have electricity going across, what we're going to do. We test it with. With your we have a multimeter, meaning that it can measure multiple things. Yeah. But one of the things we're interested in is voltage. So you see V is for voltage, so you have an option of turning to this voltage or this one. Notice on top of the V, there's a straight line yep. and there's an alternating line. Yep. Alternating line means alternating current, AC. Straight means DC, which is direct current. Direct current. This one you do for cars, this one you yeah. do for homes. So we're on the Always the old a a AC. Uh -huh, alternating current. So now you notice that I have a zero point something, less than one volts. So there's no electricity. I'm gonna take, it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna put it to the ground. I'm gonna put this one here, I'm gonna put it on this side, and notice that it should get me like close to 120, 123. So it means I'm having electricity going across. If I shut this down like this, electricity will stop flowing yeah, no, no, no electricity no going to current. point zero turn it back on yeah. and you have electricity there we go yeah. now what we're gonna do is we're going to now test the electricity coming in we know it's coming in because it is coming out so this bar here has 120 meaning electricity coming in yeah and then I'm gonna test this one also 120 coming in should be and 120 20. coming out yeah the same thing and again this guy is fed by uh yeah. one two three fed by the top the odd uh, numbers are fed by the top yeah the low one even numbers and okay finish okay. so now here's another thing come on now. this circuit Hire, breaker man. this circuit breaker was bad yes, uh, so? what happens was the complaint is a few uh Hi, up there. good morning Hey, Am, a few outlets up there didn't work. Bye. So what happens was we found that when I took this out, there's a, a lot, there's a connection right be here and it was really dirty. So mm -hmm. I took a flathead screwdriver and I scraped out all that carbon buildup over the years. And then I also uh, tightened it up and I pushed it back in and it worked. And what I also did was I took a no good one, I switched it up and it worked. And um, the other thing about this one is the complaint was the, the, all the outlets work for a few days and it stopped working. Work for a few days and stopped working. So being that it's a circuit breaker, it's a switch, but it's also a circuit breaker. Mm. Many is made by two materials in there and they come in contact. When things heat up or too much power is crossing, they separate. And then when they cool down, they come back. So every time the, the person uses less electricity up there, it came back and everything mm. starts working. But, um, we're going to replace the circuit breaker. Yeah, do it as, as And uh, that's the main culprit. All right, thanks yeah. for watching. The second thing is, next time.